Hi everyone, I am Shubham Jhawar. I am a master teacher at Vedantu. We are discussing JE Advanced 2019, Paper 2, Mathematics. And the question for this video is this. Let f defined from r to r be a function. We say that f has property 1. If limit s tending to 0, f of h minus f of 0 divided by under root mod h exists and is finite. And we say that f has property 2. If limit s tending to 0, f of h minus f of 0 divided by h square exists and is finite. Then which of the following options is or are correct? There are four options. It is a multiple correct type question. Let's explore. So here uh, we are concerned about the two functions mod x and x to the power 2 by 3 whether they have property 1 or not. And two another functions x mod x and sin x whether they have property 2 or not. Now this is a very simple question based on basics of limits. Let's do it. So here uh, limit h tending to 0 f of h minus f of 0 divided by root mod h. So here uh, f of h in this first case would be mod h minus f of 0 is 0 only divided by under root of mod h. So essentially it becomes limit h tending to 0 under root of mod h and this is clearly equal to 0. So that means mod x satisfies or has property 1. Now let's come to x to the power 2 by 3. Now here uh, limit h tending to 0 f of h would be what h to the power 2 by 3. Now if you see carefully, you can even write f of x to be uh, mod of x to the, to the power 2 by 3 instead of x to the power 2 by 3 uh, because anyway it is an even function so it would not matter. So you may directly consider this because in denominator there is under root of mod h. Now uh, what about f of 0? f of 0 is clearly 0. You put x to be 0, it is 0. So that means it becomes limit h tending to 0 mod of h to the power 2 by 3 minus half. Why? Because under root mod h is there in denominator. So 2 by 3 minus half is essentially 1 by 6. Again, the limit exists, is finite, it is equal to 0. So even this function has property 1. Now let's explore these two functions, whether they have property 2 or not. So uh, limit h tending to 0 f of h would be what? h mod h f of 0 is 0 so minus 0 would not make much difference divided by h is square. Now if you see carefully if you consider left hand limit limit h tending to little less than 0 this mod h will open with minus sign and you get this and hence the limit becomes minus 1 this will cancel out and what about right hand limit? Limit h tending to 0 plus, this mod h will open with plus sign, it becomes h square, denominator is h square and this essentially cancels out and it gives 1. So here clearly left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit, hence the limit does not exist. So this function does not have property 2. Now what about sin x? Limit h tending to 0, f of h will be sin of h minus f of 0, f of 0 would be 0 because sin of 0 is 0 divided by h is square. Now we know this standard limit that limit h tending to 0 sine of h divided by h is essentially 1 and it's finite. But here we have additional 1 by h multiplied to it. So on one hand this expression will tend to 1 and what about this expression? This expression would go to infinity or minus infinity depending on whether we are talking about right hand limit or left hand limit. So essentially this overall value, you know, the limiting value does not exist. Doesn't exist. So that essentially means that even this function sin x does not have property 2. So that essentially means my options a and b would be correct, c and d would be wrong. So this is as simple as that. One of the easiest questions that you may ever come across in J Advanced. This is the kind of question that you must nail. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next question.